Hey everybody, sorry I haven't posted uh, of late because um, there's uh, two parts of my schedule that are pretty physically rough on me. Um, uh, the first, when I come back from my five days, uh, the next seven days I'm working six out of the seven days and uh, with it being a real physical job and being 10 hour shifts, um, that's kind of rough on you. And I'm in the back end of that, just heading into my five days, which is another seven days where I'm working six of the seven, same story. So, um, it takes a toll on me and uh, I, I don't always do a lot of work over that time period. But, um, what I wanted to do is I wanted to point out uh, some people that are long overdue. Um, people that uh, I've known for, one of them I've known for a long time, and uh, there's two uh, up-and-comers uh, that show a lot of promise and a lot of talent, and um, I just, I want to uh, point you in the direction of, of cool people, because that's what we need to do. Um, we should always be uh, sharing the spotlight, so to speak. I've, I've never, like I said, I've never been really big on hogging it. I don't think that's that's right. But anyways, um, a couple other things have been going on. Um, my ADD has been kicking in of late, uh, and I, I, I have a, a band that I love that I'm sure a lot of you guys know called Albany Park. And uh, I didn't know this, but they've got a new uh, album out, so you might want to check YouTube for it. And uh, my personal favorite is um, uh, Under the Radar. Uh, very, very cool. But anyways, the three individuals I'm talking about are uh, Bust Obi-Wan, uh, Terrain Noob, And uh, Mr. Boom Headshot, who was formerly under another title, I, I can't remember what that, that title was, and so I think he's having trouble shifting people from his old channel to his new channel, so um, very understandable, so I want to uh, make sure people are uh, making the connections, you know what I mean? So, um, uh... These are the three individuals um, I'm talking about again. Uh, Bust Obi-Wan, who's very, very talented uh, terrain maker. Very cool guy. I've spoken to him on a number of occasions. Terrain noob. Um, there's nothing noob about this guy. Trust me. Um, if you like terrain uh, and you want to see some really quality stuff, check him out. And Mr. Boom Headshot is, I believe from Holland. Uh, he's one of my very first subscribers. Super nice, nice guy. Uh, he made a response video about uh, chainmail bikinis, so go check it out. Uh, it's, the outtakes are even funnier than the actual video, which is hard to believe. But um, these are four places that are highly, highly cool. Make sure I get that in there. So go check them out. Um, and with... Uh, listening uh, to Albany Park's new uh, new album out there. Um, it reminded me, I went back and I, I was listening to Airship Pirates, there was a Japanese anime series out, this is kind of a, a question to the community, a Japanese anime series that was very steampunk, um, like air battleship style uh, cartoon that was, was just phenomenal. I mean, they would do like lines of broadsides, you know, at 10,000 feet and they'd actually open up the sides of the doors and they'd have uh, troops uh, with like air-powered muskets firing back and forth. Really just some slick, slick visual stuff. And uh, I was wondering if, if anybody out there is familiar with that, could you send me a link 
to where I could find those again because I'd really like to check them out. Um, they were really slick when I saw them and I, I only saw a couple of them and I got caught up in a, a job and they just kind of fell off the radar screen. Um, also, if you could find one that they've actually dubbed it over in English, please send me that one because, you know, it, it, it really takes away from the the effect where you're you're trying to check out these really cool air battleships and you're trying to read underneath while they're fighting and all that so um, and if you're interested in that kind of stuff um, follow the links down here because uh, it's really really slick um, now that I've moved into uh, designing some of the uh, the steampunk um, war machine or 40k aspects on this uh, castle. Um, one of the things you want to do as a train maker is is reference. You always want to do reference work because it um, one uh, it can send you in new directions, new ideas, and two you can start connecting things from different people and creating your own kind of a hybrid concept. Um, I'd love to get involved. I mean, I love to game, period. But uh, I'd, I'd I'd really like to have the experience of playing at least one kind of goth steampunk style Victorian age uh, game out there. If, uh, if are there any game systems for this kind of thing, or uh, are people just taking generic game systems and, and modifying them over? to this thing. Uh, so sorry that this is kind of a shotgun blast. Uh, again, I just, uh, my job has just physically been burning me out of late, so I'm sorry I've been posting, but um, this is uh, this is what's been going on. Some people that are long overdue, uh, that are very, very cool and near and dear to me, so check them out. And um, uh, whatever knowledge you guys have, you know, share it share it down there because uh, if one of us interested is interested in something I guarantee there's at least a hundred so take care love you and uh, in starting Friday will be I'll be on my next five day or so uh, look for a lot of action occurring uh, over that time period so once again take care love you bye bye